let's still see where we are. All right, let's see. My stuff is so crowded here on the desk. Always doing a lot of things at once. I'm going to refresh here. <clears throat> Hello, people. I think I think you're seeing the side of my head. Let's see. I moved this around. I had it really good for what, like ten days, and now I just messed with it. So it's probably gonna like you know mess with the whole thing. <clears throat> well, here we are. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, I see me live. There I am. Oh, I can imagine. I gotta check my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my cat on. Uh-oh, you're getting the real me. Tis what it is, people. Tis what it is. Okay, I'm going to go here. <laughs> I don't know who's around. It's kind of late. It's a little late for me. I usually like to be done around this time, but I was playing hooky today, which is fine by me. Remember that song, Fine By Me? I just liked that song. Don't you know it's fine by me if you never leave? Okay, I'll stop singing again. If I sing it and mutilate the sound of the song, is it still a copyright infringement? What if I sing it so badly it really sounds nothing, nothing like what I want it to sound like? I have to go over here and type some information here. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, peacocks and grillin. Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. Alrighty, okay, that could be interesting. All right, so I'm going to share that into the group. <clears throat> um, of course, you know, I always want to get things done earlier and sooner, and there goes that. <laughs> but at least I had a good reason today for um, being unbelievably behind. It was a good reason, I swear. Give me a second, I'll share this, and then, all right, I'm gonna, hey, I gotta paste this here. All right, we're good. Pasting that, sharing that. I'm not gonna mess around with the watch party because I didn't have a chance to do any research on the watch party. So, I don't know if I did it wrong last time. I, video's looking a little wonky there. I hope that it's, uh, I hope that it's okay. Okay, so here we are. Um, Completely, completely took the day off, which I haven't done in a while because my, oh, I thought that was the cat. I have a, I have a neighbor cat who tries to get into my house. This is the newest, um, <sighs> hi Franny, hi Clarissa. So this is my newest dilemma. I have these new neighbors and they have cats and they have at least four cats and we only have a fence on one side of our property. We're known around here as the annoying New Yorkers that put up a fence between our property. I don't see that there's anything wrong with that, especially when neighbors have dogs. And I have kids, and so the neighbor's dog kept coming on our property and attacked my kid. It's a little chihuahua, like he can drop kick it across the road. <laughs> Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. And so we put up a fence. And so, like, you know, three doors down, they're like, oh, yeah, they're from New York. They put up the fence. All right, I don't know what to tell you. The fence is up. Now, on the other side, we haven't had a chance to put the fence up yet. But the neighbors there were just like um, one guy that we liked. And then he sold the house to a really young guy who, like, minded his own business. But he never mowed the lawn. And he had weed growing in the woods in the back. Okay, that's a whole other story to begin with. Anyway, apparently he moved. I didn't know that he moved. And either he's renting or selling or whatever. So our neighbors have cats. Our cats, their cats come on our property and torture my cat by the window and torture my mother-in-law's cat by her window and they come on my deck in the yard and I always see them back there. My little cat goes out an hour a day. She goes out, she gets in the sun and she comes back in. But these are mean cats so I can't let her out because she's going to be bullied. And so that's my dilemma. How would you deal with that? If you had a cat issue like that, what would you do? Um, barring, I don't have three grand laying around to put the fence up at the other side yet. Okay, I got, I got more important things to do. <laughs> like buying chalk couture. Who needs a fence when I have chalk to buy? Just kidding. So I took today off. My husband and I went driving around. It was beautiful. I can't, it was like a perfect day. We went out to Trackside for lunch. Oh my gosh, nice lunch at Trackside. Main Street, Honesdale. That's where I did a chalk the other day. 
and then we just went driving around and I have some pictures that I'm going to post. We live in a very rural area. I did two, uh, two or three lives from where I, we live because when I tell people that we're rural, they're like, yeah, whatever. And it's like, no, 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 no rural. So we'll go driving around down dirt roads and just take really cool pictures. So I am like an amateur photographer. I've gotten lazy and you use the phone because the phone takes good pictures. So I only had my phone today, but I do love taking pictures. I have a nice camera and uh, I might go out by myself on Friday to do that. But we drove around and then we went to, where did we go? We went up to Walmart and we were just like running errands and it was so relaxing. I came home, I threw a steak on the grill. Then we started watching a show called True Detective. If you like detective shows, oh my gosh, such a good show. It's on HBO. They really don't show a lot of skin for an HBO show, but thoroughly enjoying this season three. So that's why I'm late because we got hooked into um, another episode. I'm going to start talking about TV and good weather. Um, this was the first project we did with Absolutely Fabulous with my Five From One Is More series. Love the way this came out. Just went old school and put it on a regular uh, 9x12 Grayson. All right, then... I got this cute little scarf and I love the way this came out. Look how cute this is. I have to take good pictures. That's what I'm supposed to do today. Make uh, do pictures and videos. Okay. Um, look how cute this is. I'm not going to wear it right now. Um, I don't think you can see it when I wear it. Never mind. I just took the absolutely fabulous part and I put just absolutely fabulous on the scarf and I thought it came out so stinking cute. So that was project number two. Pick this up at the place where they sell things for a dollar. That was very cute. I actually picked up a couple in different um, colors because I thought it's a nice, cute, light scarf. Just like to add a little, a little pizzazz to um, to a, uh, to an outfit. I'm not a big scarf wearer. I have the world's shortest neck, so I don't. Really, I feel like a little uh, when I um, <laughs> when I when I wear scarves. So, and I'm not a hat wearer either because I feel like I have a big head. And when I put the hat on, it just makes my head look like a giant lollipop. Okay, yeah, I know. We all have our issues. And um, so I'm going to do third project for the um, five from one is more. And I'm also going to be working a little bit on this tonight. I'm not going to put too much on there. Um, I know I have like business meetings I'm supposed to be at. I'm getting notices that the business meetings are going or starting. I don't know what to say. I'm here uh, chalking. I'm not going to this meeting. Catch you on the replay, emerging leaders. So there's that. All right, I'm going to turn the camera down so we can get started. And if you get uh, motion sickness, look away because I'm going to turn you upside down and then I'm going to face you down. There we go. All righty. Okay. So again, I don't know who's going to be sticking around tonight or who's going to be around. It's a little later than I usually do. Go live. Look at this cute, cute little bag that I picked up. I thought this was so cute. It's just a little, it's almost plasticky, but it's, um, it's like vinyl and it's just like a little satchel. I wouldn't be able to wear these, you know, they're kind of like thin on my, on my back. I feel uncomfortable. Um, but kids, I see kids wearing these and they're super convenient for, you, you know, you, you, you can throw it in your bag. You can have an extra sack. Um, and the kids just like throw a water bottle, whatever on the back of that. And, um, so I thought I'm going to ink this and see what it does. Um, whether it uh, actually works remains to be seen. I just want to inv invite Karen Gosh, because Karen was the winner of my, um, of the, what is that called? Of my, my drawing last week. So this week we have, um, I'm going to do another drawing on Saturday. Hopefully I will remember. Um, I didn't remember last time. And so um, we have our, uh, words of the day. Okay. So there's two word, uh, two hashtags of the day. And then today I'll give you another one. It's going to be backpack. So it's hashtag backpack. If you send this off into the world and you come back and just put hashtag backpack. And if you go back to my other two videos from Tuesday and Wednesday, and if you're in my group, you get even more of a shot because if you're in the VIP group, you get the hashtag there as well. And, and if you mark it that you've watched the hashtag in the VIP group with the hashtag, then you get an extra drawing. So every time you hashtag, every time you watch a new video of mine, I will go ahead and add you um, another entry into the drawing. Last week, I gave the um, that cute little spring banner that I made. 
Okay, so that was the prize from last mm -hmm. week, and that was kind of cool. Um, and so I'm just waiting for uh, Karen Nash to get back to me. She lives local, but I can pop it in the mail to her. Okay, so Clarissa's waving hello to me. She's so cute. Hello, Clarissa. Oh, boy. Um, love in that T-shirt. I really, really, really um, very sure I'm going to get that for my daughter-in-law. She's not here. She's not here. So if, if the daughter-in-law comes back, don't go looking on Clarissa's. Um, <laughs> don't go looking for it because I owe her a birthday present. Her birthday was in March, and um, I just neglected to get her birthday present, and so I owe her one. And so I think that she would love that that T-shirt that you have. Love it, love it. I didn't even know that you had an Etsy site. Um, oh, you have a bunch for your girls? Yeah, I remember my kids got these when they were in cyber school. So I homeschooled my kids for, I don't know, a thousand years. And then my my two boys, actually a whole school, uh, four of my kids, one kid went to high school in 10th grade, ninth, uh, 10th grade, 10, 11, 12. And then um, the others I homeschooled. And two of them did cyber school for part of their school. So they had their backpacks from the cyber school. Okay. <clears throat> um, they look just very convenient. They fold up nice. They don't take up a lot of room. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to work out well. Now, whether I can iron on this, I'm going to I'm gonna try. I'm going to use the parchment because with ink you have, to, you have to heat set it. So I'm going to use the parchment and I'm going to put the iron on a little bit lower than usual to see, just like I did with this one. It didn't burn. It didn't melt it. Um, and so, but this is not cotton, so I want to make sure that I'm not going to be so hot that it melts the, um, that it melts what I'm trying to, the, 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 the material itself. I can speak English. Okay. So third time with the absolutely fabulous transfer, I peel the back from the transfer and I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to try to center it. Okay, so for those of you who are stopping by who might not know what the heck I'm doing, I am a designer with Chalk Couture. We are a new company, been around for just under two years, developed these really lovely adhesive back silk screen transfers. They're not stencils. This is not open here. This is all filled with a very fine mesh, okay, a very fine screen. So the product glides over the opening here on the screen so it gives you a smooth finish when you lift it off whatever is here is going to be left behind hopefully <laughs> on a good day hi Timmy thank you for stopping by glad you're here um, and so um, so train transfer okay so we use pastes on um, items like uh, on uh, surfaces like wood and, and um, wood canvas um, I'm trying to think of what else, uh, some, some plastic, some glass, glass if you don't want to seal it. Okay, so I use the paste. The paste dries hard. It can wash off of most any surface. To, and uh, if you want to seal it, you can just spray some sealant on it. Okay, so today we're working with the inks. The inks are not as forgiving. Um, they are water soluble. They'll wash off your hands. They don't really stain unless you're doing a lot of product, uh, projects. But if I miss and I get it on the fabric, it is kind of hard to wash off because it's an ink. It's not really meant to wash off. Um, it needs to be heat set. So I'm going to heat set this with an iron. If you are one of those cool people that have the heat press, heat press super easy to get done. Um, I don't have a heat press. Okay, so this says absolutely fabulous. This is the third in the series. And so let's go. Um, not going to be as detailed with this peacock as I was here. This came out really lovely, I thought, but I'm just not going to do it that way this time because I want to see how it looks, you know, a little bit differently. And I don't have the same color pastes. I do have this blue. It's not quite peacock blue. It's called Tide and low heat right low heat's the key low heat is definitely the key <laughs> okay and i see some people coming in thank you if you um would be so kind as to give me thumbs ups and hearts because facebook loves them and if you would click the thumbs ups and hearts that are underneath the um the video that send the little hearts and likes bubbles up and up into the picture that that's the best thing and the bestest thing you can do is to share i said the word i don't know if i'm how that's affecting anything i think my following is so small it doesn't really matter um but it is what it is i use the word if you send this nice video off into the world hey maria thanks for stopping by if you send this video out into the world i appreciate it come back or just Click that button, send it off, and then use the hashtag. I have to write this down before I forget. The hashtag today is backpack. 
I only have um, one video today instead of two, and that's okay because I shared this into my group. But today's Wednesday, right? Um, and so uh, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Get those hashtags. All you have to do is go back to my other videos, watch them, send it out into the world, add the hashtag. Every time you hashtag me and send my videos out, you get a draw, an entry into a drawing, and I give away something that I made. Last week, it was a spring banner. Karen Gosh won that one. I'm waiting for her to get back to me. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of not worry too much about it being... Um, perfect like I said on this one I just I'm just gonna try to I'm just gonna pretty much put the two colors and then possibly I'm gonna put a little gold on there I have gold I don't have brown and so I thought that the gold might work well um, I'm not gonna my husband said that I should make the eye white but I think that's just like too difficult for me to get into that little spot okay so the ink is much thinner. So I'm not going to do the eye white. I should finish my thought, right? The ink is much, much thinner. You don't need nearly as much on your transfer as you do with the paste, but I still use very little. It's a very thin, it's a very thin paste. Oh, I want to watch it. I don't go off there. Now, I probably don't need to worry too much over here because I'm going to do like a marbling effect, but I want this to be... I don't know. I just want it to be as separated as I can get it, even though technically it's not exactly the same colors as a peacock. It is what it is. Whatever. So I'm going to marble that side there. OK, and I'm going to put a little bit of gold on the bottom there. I'm just going to put a little more in here because I don't want it to dry. All right. If you put a little bit of a heavier layer on there, it doesn't dry as fast. And the ink certainly does not dry nearly as fast as the paste does. Okay, so I have that. So now I have, I don't have gold, I have copper. I'm going to put a little copper because I thought, hey, a little bling is going to go nicely here, especially since this bottom part of the peacock is a little bit brown. And I'm just going to put little dots in there, not a lot. And I'm going to make his feet and his legs to be this coppery color. I don't know what happened to my gold. Oh, no, I got blue on there. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what happened to my gold. It's somewhere. I know I have it because I use it a lot at Christmas. <gasps> I actually asked my company today when the fall catalog comes out. Can you imagine? <laughs> I know. I'm crazy. As my kids would say, Vasa Snoots, you're crazy, Mom. Yes, I'm a little crazy. I like to be prepared. Okay, so now I'm just going to marble this up. Just kind of mixing it up. I know that that's not even close to the colors of the peacock, but it's the best I can do without having all of the colors that I had when I did, did it with the paste. But I think that it's going to work out nicely because these are kind of the colors that are in a peacock. Even though the peacock's back right here where I am is black and white, it is what it is. This is the this is what I'm doing. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, a little down here. Okay, and so now I am going to, where's, oh, that's the combination one. Okay, and now I'm just going to scrape this excess blue off and see where we are oh, in the jar, not on that lid. All right, there's that. Um, I think if I work fast, I should be okay. Um, I want to use the Absolutely Fabulous in silver. Okay. So, hmm, you know what? I'm going to lift it up because I'm afraid that it's going to dry in there. No, I'm not because it's too wet. I just saw from the corner it's it's not going to work. So... And I'm hoping that the silver is going to be bright enough that you can see it. I'm not really sure if it will, because now that I'm looking on it, it's um, it's not as opaque as I thought it was going to be. But you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound, Donna. It's already done. Scraping this down. Like I said, you do have a little bit more 
time with paint, with ink. I'm just hoping that that's not drying in there. Um, we'll see. Look, we take chances. I'm taking a chance. There we go. Scrape that off. And don't forget down here, there's like a little swirl under here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, I think we should be okay. Fingers crossed, people. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, what do you think? We're going to go. Oh, I have seven people. Karen, gosh, you're here and you won. How exciting. All right, let's see what we got, people. Let's see what we have. Hmm. I don't like the way the silver looks. So this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this is going to work. Let's see if I mess it up or if it's going to work. I'm going to put white on there real quick. The silver is not showing at all. So that makes me sad. So I'm going to go over it with white and see if that works better. I don't know if that's going to mess it up. I've never, ever, ever done this before. I have never put a color over a color like this, but the silver just was not showing at all. So I either ruined it or it's going to work. One or the other. And I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I'm so sad that it didn't come out the way I thought it was going to. We'll have to see. It could also be the material. I have never worked with this material before, so... I'm just kind of playing around here with this as well. And I know that once the ink is down there, it's possible that it's just not going to show through. And I wonder if I tried to wash it off because it's kind of a little bit vinyl, if I'd be able to do that. All right, let's see if that works better. I'm gonna be so sad if it doesn't work. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Look how cute that looks. All right, right into the water it goes. You know the deal, when you're working with chalk, you don't have to worry about cleaning off the transfer right away. But when you're working with ink, you really don't want to have the ink dry in the transfer. Because when that happens, it can clog the transfer and then you can't use it again. So I'm just real quick doing a quick wipe of this. I have the water sitting right here super fast, super far away from my computer. All right, I'm hoping that when I pull, there we go, that's all cleaned off. I'm hoping when I pull the black out of there that it's gonna show nicely. So whoever's here, please tell me hello, hello. Give me some thumbs up and love. I would so appreciate it if you would do that. Stick around because I have a quick second project that I'm gonna be doing tonight. Okay, that is not looking too bad considering it was kind of a hot mess, all right? So, I can see it. I'm going to put the... Oh, you can see it really nice on the screen. I wasn't sure if you can see it as clearly as that. Okay, so here we go. All right, so if anybody's joining up and didn't hear me mention the hashtag for today, I'm just closing these up. My hashtag for today is backpack. And the hashtag is used when you share or send my videos out into the world and come back and respond with the hashtag of the day, your name gets put in a drawing. At the end of the week, I put all the names in the drawing and somebody wins something that I have made. This is something new that I started. And Karen Gosh is the winner. Congratulations to Karen because she won. Karen, I saw you here a second ago, so go ahead and send me your mailing address. I'll pop that in the mail to you. Okay, so I am going to... Pull this off of the mat and definitely, there we go, let's see what we got here. Put this down here. Let's see. Oh, look how cute that is. I'm very pleased. I'm going to use this. <laughs> it looks good. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for stopping by. Who else is here that I missed? I always miss people because Facebook knocks off the bottom part of my screen and I can't see people. So I see Franny and I see Jennifer and Franny and Karen. Karen, you're the winner. Don't forget to send me that in a, in a private message, your address. Okay, so we're good. Um, this is adorable. I'm going to report back tomorrow 
to see. It did bleed a little bit in there. That was because I was in a hurry. Um, eh, that's all right. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it heat sets on here. Because this also is a cute little backpack thingy I picked up at the store that sells things for a dollar. <gasps> how fun would this be at a kid's birthday party to put, and you would only have to use one color, but to put this on the back of a kid's backpack and, or to do the sports one on the back of a kid's backpack. That That's like one, such a cool amazing little um project to do for a take-home project for kids at a birthday party and it's not expensive at all because all you need to use is one color i will heat set it with a piece of parchment paper i will make sure this is dry and i'm going to let it sit overnight before i do anything to it then i'll put parchment paper and an iron now the iron is supposed to be on cotton but because this is vinyl i'm not going to do that i'm going to put it a little bit lower and i'll probably hold it on uh move the iron a little bit more than the four minutes. If you have a heat press, it's like, boom, you're done. 30 seconds and it's done. I don't have one. So I'm going to use the iron and um, that works just as good. I made tons of pillows at Christmas and they were a big hit. So I'm going to let you know. And it's the same thing that I did with the scarf. So this is a series that I do every week. I take one transfer and I make a different project every day to show that you can get at least five projects out of one transfer this is a $15 transfer okay 15 bucks and if you only used one color say you only got the yellow the paste is for the ink is $14.99 so 15 so 30 bucks and you can do more than five projects with it and that ink will last you forever and if you want to buy a smaller uh, pot of ink you let me know and I'll put it together for you this is the first project that we did okay so it's one two three Tomorrow, we will have project number four. I have a good idea for that one, too. So make sure you come back. Um, I'm trying to do these particular ones during the afternoon, but it doesn't seem to be in the cards for me. <laughs> Every time I try, something interferes. Let me put that to the side. So the last quick little project I'm going to work on is a Father's Day gift slash summer gift. How cute is this okay this is an amazing tray I have a bunch of them I picked these up at um, the store with the big red dot they were on clearance and I got like 15 of them so this is one of the ones that I'm doing and I might actually do this for a class because holy cow for a class that would be fun this is our chillin and grillin I did the little grill Put the words, put the little pieces on there. My little, what are those called? What's this, not pieces, what are they? Not implements, utensils. <laughs> yes, it's utensils. Okay, now this is a C transfer. So this one is, I, I want to say, I want to say $24.99. I could be wrong, okay. Um, but these are all the pieces that you get in that transfer. Look at all of the options that you get in the transfer. And so um, this is another one that I'm going to be probably be doing a five from one because I am going to be putting together um, a kit that goes together with oven mitts and an apron. And that's going to be really a lot of fun. That's going to be a great Father's Day gift. And I'm going to sell them and they're going to be very, very affordable because I got such a good deal on this. Okay, so let me move this around over here. And what do I want to put here? I want to put, I think, I want to put maybe something like on the grill and then put the hot dog. What do you think? Okay, so here's a question. Is it a hot dog or is it a frankfurter? Where are you from? Where? What do you call them? Hot dog or frankfurter? Or dogs. I'll tell you what I was raised calling them. You'll probably get such a kick out of it. Or maybe I'll just do menu. I think I'll do menu and I'll put a couple of hot dogs. Oh, how cute would that be? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And I love the way the yellow looks. So I am definitely going to be using the yellow on that as well. Because the yellow on the black is so vibrant. It really makes it stand out. The cute little flame there. Oh my gosh. This was so much fun to make. Okay, <clears throat> there is my, whatever this thing is called. So I have, um, 
I want to make sure that I am, I believe that this particular transfer, my friends, this transfer is indeed, let me make sure and verify, is indeed, um, where are we? We are in the, it is, this is $24.99 and it is in the last chance section on the website. That means friends, when it is gone, it is gone. Do you call it a hot dog? Okay, you call it a hot dog. What other people call it? Hot dog, hot dog. Do you know what I was raised calling these? You're going to laugh. Dirty water dogs. Can you figure out why? <laughs> See, if you can think. Can you figure out why I would call these dirty water dogs? Okay, there, there's like a hint there. <laughs> there. There is definitely a hint in the way that I was um, explaining that dirty water dogs okay i'm trying to figure out what color i want to use for my dirty water dogs because they're kind of brown ish i think i'm going to go with the brown all right so i'm going to use menu in yellow okay now i don't have this marked so you know donna mark your papers have i mentioned how i can't wait for our backing sheets to be back in I can't stand having all these little bits of pieces, these papers, um, but when we, I buy extra pack of the backing sheets and I put all my little bits onto the backing sheets and it's so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off. I am definitely gonna fuzz this. This is a smooth surface. Smoother the surface, the more you wanna fuzz. Yes. So no guesses as to why I call them dirty water dogs. You guys can't guess and figure that one out. <clears throat> so today, speaking of dirty water dogs, my husband and I have made a decision that what we are going to do for our birthdays, which are both in the summer, but we're going to, yes, I am fuzzing this a lot because I want to make sure that it doesn't over stick on there. The fuzz on the back will stop this from sticking so hard when I pull it off that it stretches. Um, so my husband and I have decided that in October, oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, praying, 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 we are going to go and see the one and only Mr. Billy Joel in concert in Madison Square Garden. And I am just, oh, maybe I'll put the, no, I think I like it over here. I think I like the way it's going here. What do you guys think? It's kind of in line with that, right? Let's stand it up. That looks kind of cute. I'm going to put a couple hot dogs. I really wish that they put um, a hamburger on here. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. A hamburger, a little corn on the cob. How cute would that be? see if that's straight oh I see it kind of goes around a little I guess that's the best I can do that's okay um okay I'm gonna do yellow Billy Joel in concert Madison Square Garden I said to my husband he's turning 70 Billy Joel this week I said we have to see him before he like you know decides he doesn't want to do concerts anymore I would be devastated Billy Joel is my pretty much my all-time favorite um pop singer or he's he's just he's a legend he really is a legend in his own time um it's uh it's a toss-up between him and bon jovi but i'm not gonna lie bon jovi is like you know on the list because he's a kind of a pretty man <laughs> he's a pretty man and he sings in the craziest rhymes are you a bill did you uh because of how they are made. You gotta go, Maria, that's fine. Go, have a great night, my friend. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, Cody, um, because in New York City, oh, tell me that yellow doesn't look so fun on there. In New York City, you see the hot dog carts on the streets. And the hot dogs that are Sabret hot dogs, they sit in that water all day long. And it probably is kind of gross to most people, but to me, that makes them taste better. <laughs> So I call them dirty water dogs. That's what we're having. Now, we wouldn't call them dirty water dogs if they're going on the grill. We call them hot dogs. That's that's definitely true. We call them hot dogs when they're on there. Okay, so I, I do have something that I'm going to put here. But I'm going to put like a couple of hot dogs. I think that would be fun. I think that would be fun. All righty. Thanks so much for the love, guys. I see all the hearts and loves. That makes me so happy. Okay, I see a couple of hashtags. Hashtag backpack. What's that kid's show with the backpack? Backpack, backpack. What, what kid's show is that? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. 
I'm being, I'm like brain dead for a second. What the heck is that? Um, oh, I can't remember. Backpack, backpack. Okay, so do you think that I should make them brown because they're cooked? I almost, because when they're not cooked, they're pink. All right, so I wonder if I could mix a color. All right, here, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if this is going to work. I have this kind of like, this is like a flesh colored. I don't really know how this is going to work, but I'm, I'm willing to try. I am willing to try to see if I can get a hot dog type cover color. If I can't get a hot dog type color, um, then I will just use this light brown. This is already a made white brown, uh, light brown because I, I've said before, <laughs> some white got stuck in this one. That is not what our brown looks like at all. <laughs> um, another spatula. Put a little bit of this peach in here. See if I can lighten this up a little. I think that's too much. All right, I just want to see if I can lighten this up. This is probably one of the coolest things about Chocotour. You can like make your own custom colors. I'm just like mixing this up to make it a little bit lighter. It's making it a little bit lighter. I don't know, I kind of think it should be more pink. Oh, I don't want to scratch that in there. Okay. What do I have? Red is going to be, I think, too red. Orange is not going to work. All right. I'm, pro I'm probably crazy for trying this, but I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, then I'll just go right back to the brown. I'm just going to put that tiny little bit of pink in there. Let's see. Let's see. Do you think that's going to make some... Oh, all right. All right. It made it a little bit pinker. Not too much. Um, I think that's what we're going to end up with. We're just going to have brown. Put a little bit more pink in there. Let's see. Oops. Um, the other day I made that a beautiful color for my peacock because I was out of our actual peacock blue. Oh, there we go. So it's a little bit pinker. All right. Not much. Not much. Nothing to write home about. And so you can mix the colors and you can make your own custom colors. Um, which is kind of cool, especially if you order my, um, my little, um, working pack of, of different colored pastes. Okay. So I have these, these, uh, packs that I put together with a, a bunch of different colors and a squeegee. And if you get that, if you just buy a lar a, a jar, a $13 jar of the white, you can mix it all in here and you can make all kinds of colors and you can make these colors go a lot farther. So that is a great way to get your hands on a bunch of colors without having to spend all that money on um, three jars of paste. Of course, you want to buy three, three, three jars of paste. I will happily sell them to you. Okay, so I want to put, I just want to kind of like have them there. I don't really want them in any kind of order. I don't know. I think that they should just be laying on there. Now, this these um, trays for Father's Day will be sealed. Dora the Explorer. That's what it is. Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer. Backpack, backpack, right? <laughs> so they used to sing. Um, and uh, that guy that would take the backpack. Swiper, no swiping, Swiper. <laughs> My kids were just at the tail end of Dora the Explorer. They were more in the vein. Oh, look at the cute hot dogs. Okay. They were more in line with the... Um, Blues Clues, Blues Clues, Blues Clues. They even had Blues Little Book. No, it, uh, not Blues Book. What was his name? <gasps> What's the name of the guy on Blues Clues? He went away to college and his brother took over. Ah, I can't remember. And they would sing all kinds of fun songs about, um, they had the chair and when the mailman would come, here's the mail, it makes me something makes me want to wag my tail <laughs> something like that right boy i'm all kinds of like singing tonight i'm gonna put another one kind of like that way i don't want to touch that guy because he's still um wet so i don't want to mess it up um working with paste if i do mess it up i can wash it off and do it again make sure that's all filled up Okay, so basically what's on the menu today is just hot dogs. <laughs> just hot dogs. Okay, I'm going to put another one right over, right about here. And 
and that's all I'm going to do on this today. I'm going to add some more on tomorrow. And my husband's going away again this weekend. He was gone last weekend. Um, there we go. Look how cute. Look how cute. Come on. You can't deny that chalking. Hi, April. Thanks for stopping by. You can't deny that chalking hot dogs is not the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Almost as cute as the peacock that I did. Okay. <laughs> I love the little bitty details that you get with Chalkator that you can put little little bits and pieces everywhere. Um, this is our uh, master grill transfer that we have. Okay, this comes with all of these pieces plus this and this and more words that you can use. These are the utensils and these are the words and the little flame that's in there and the grill itself. And look, look at all the stuff you get. It's $24.99. You get all of these pieces. You can use this on a tray, on oven mitts, on an apron, on a chef hat, on a, um, a, a wooden tray that you wanted to use. This is going to be sealed. I'm going to seal this so that um, you wouldn't want to put food directly on it, but you can put condiments and you can put like you know lemonade uh, jar with with some glasses and carry it out and be like oh look how cool that is and the best thing of all to me is that they'll say where did you get it and you get to say i made it and they're gonna say oh no how did you do that then you're gonna give them my card just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding kind of sort of um and i'll or you can tell them to come to the website and i'll show them how to do it this was a lot of fun guys all right, so this is chilling and grilling. A little bit more is going to go on there tomorrow. Okay, this I also did. This is part of my five from one is more. Five projects every week from one transfer. One, this was my other one. Two, because that's the ink. The ink works on fabric. Okay, and I have another inked project here. This is the one I did tonight. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Two more projects coming with the absolutely fabulous Peacock. Join me tomorrow. If you want to get noticed, when, a notice whenever I go live, all you have to do is click the little bell. The little bell um, on a laptop, and I think on the phone, if you just swipe it up, it'll say, do you want to know, do you want to be notified? You just then get a little notice that says, oh, Donna's going live. You can come by, stay for a while, leave, stay as long as you want. Um, and that will be absolutely fine. If you like what you see and you, oh, Steve, that's his name, Steve. Boy, Cody, you always have the answers. <laughs> Steve was the guy with the mat with the with the notebook and he would he would have like three clues because that's why it was called Blues Clues, right? Blues Clues, Blues Clues. Um, and then Steve went away to college. And, and his brother came and took over. And I remember my kids were like, who's this new guy? What happened to Steve? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Steve went off to college, guys. Sorry. Okay, so if you like what you see and you would like to know more about um, the, the product itself, the bundles, the discounts that I offer, I have a, um, a closed group. It's called Chalkaholics. Say it with a Brooklyn accent. You'll be good. And there is where I offer um, all kinds of specials and bundles and discounts and we play games and we give stuff away and um, it's a lot of fun. If you want to be a part of that group, just put add me. If you type add me, I will add you to my group. It is a no pressure group. It's just a lot of fun. Once a month, I offer a business video. That's all. It's, it's, one, it's not a high pressure thing. It's a lot of fun. And you can get great discounts on products, which is a really good thing. If you would like to know more information about Chalkator as a business, because I run this as a business, it's so much fun. I do workshops like Sip and Paints. You can do home parties. You can buy the product and make stuff and sell the stuff that you make. Um, so many different ways you can run the business. If you want more information about that, then just put more info, please. I'm turning this around. Hello, it's me. All right, I'm getting ready to say goodnight. Um, uh, more info. So more info if you want business info. Add me if you want to be part of my group. Um, my closed group um, is open to anybody. It, it, you don't have, need a special invitation. You just 
add people that you think would want to be a part of it, but always ask first, because if you don't ask first, that's spammy, and nobody likes spam. So let me know. I am going to go. I'm going to take my camera down here. Whoops. There we go. Uh -uh. All right. I am going to choose the picture that I want to be my final picture so that Facebook isn't picking an ugly picture of me. And that's why I always end on this note. You all have a phenomenal night. Thank you so much for stopping by and feel free to share this. Send it out into the world. Give me the hashtag, hashtag backpack. You get entered into my giveaway at the end of the month. For every hashtag you post on all of my videos, you have to watch the video to find out what the hashtag is. So don't cheat. Um, I guess you can cheat. How would I know? Do whatever you want. It's okay. Uh, no judgment here. Have a great night, everybody.